gonna tick down music volume a little bit, just so I can explain a few things quick before we get into Escapists. Okay, so earlier in the week, did all of this setup necessary for this, and... Well, I guess in some respect, today's stream is a bit of a celebration. We've hit Affiliate. It's a fairly big milestone, all things considered. I'm genuinely awestruck that I've hit this point, period. Because I genuinely don't think I'm that entertaining a person. I feel like I could be doing a lot better. But as it turns out, maybe, I, maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit. I don't know. Regardless, we've hit affiliate now. That's a good thing. As a result, we have a few things, a few extra things up, such as channel points. So, if you wanted to, as you're watching, you'll gain Fracturia that you can spend with uh, the chat shop now. Hello, Danielto. Welcome back. But yes, as you're watching, you'll gain Fracturia. You can use that Fracturia to spend it on various things. We'll come up with more and more facets and features as we go along. Crap. For now, it's the basic stuff, such as check fluids. Literally sip a fluid that's near me. I have some water, so we're good. You can also take a look at the sub emotes. If you're on our Discord, then they should be lo they should look very familiar to you. Th I've also made them fairly inexpensive too, just in case. Because let's face it, people like to mess around with emotes. On the higher end of the spectrum, you can actually mess around with the chatbots, so feel free to go nuts with that. Or also force me to run uh, to run an advert. Here's the thing on that. Due to being affiliate now, there are going to be ad breaks. I've specifically put these at the absolute minimum. I will apologize that all these ads will be cropping up, but again, I have set them to the absolute minimum, so that means after a 5 minute delay, there will be 30 seconds worth of ads, and that's it. This will repeat every hour. Again, one more time, I will say I'm sorry, but at the same right, this is going to be somewhat useful, because as we play these ads, I'll be able to get some of the... I'll actually be able to obtain a bit of a revenue, and be able to use the money to buy more games, improve the stream. I have a few ideas in mind, even, such as, like, an interactable avatar that people can mess around with. Yes, at some point, there may be a little Sage Blake, or Zinnia Blake, or maybe even both, that people can mess around with, throw things at. I want to do this. This is going to take some time. And I've been doing some of that in the back end already. Learning Blender to try and hopefully make an avatar. We'll see how that goes. Best case scenario, I can make everything I need myself. Worst case scenario, I have to earn my way to buying one, which is going to be like 100 USD. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's something I want to do. Hello there, Nenelto! Welcome! We are now affiliates, and you can spend Fracturia, also known as channel points. But yeah. Another thing I want to do at some point as well is potentially... Like, I'm gonna have to consult family for this, but I want to be able to stream three days a week. This is going to be something that I want to do, but who knows whether I'll succeed or not. If I can, then chances are the schedule that I'll be working with is... Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, holy shit, uh, Daniel, you didn't have to do that. Thanks, dude. Thanks for setting up shop and synapse. <laughs> Feel free to advertise your goods. Feel free to just generally enjoy yourself. And further, welcome, welcome to synapse proper. So in that case, let's actually get to escapists. One step closer to Digital Raccoon. Yeah, exactly! I figured that'd be something entertaining to look at, right? Okay, so... Not sure if... Okay, good. So, Escapists 2. 
The quick way to explain this game is, hey, you want to, you ever want to escape from a prison? Well, here you go. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna set up a public lobby. It will be password-gated, so that if you're watching stream, feel free to drop in. Otherwise, yeah, that's about it. At least for this first one- at least for this first prison, it shouldn't be too bad. And the password I'm gonna set is gonna be relatively simple. Okay, so explaining escapists. It's how to escape from prison, the uh, parody, essentially. Your objective in every map is, well, yeah, escape from prison. It's a lot easier than, it, it's a lot easier and harder than it may sound. Right at the gate, you have a locker right here with a bunch of items within it. Ooh. We have some of the stuff necessary for the, uh, escaping as a civvy. That's actually pretty good. But yeah. The general pattern of how escapists work is days pass, and these days are divided into a bunch of different blocks. These blocks include such things as roll call, food, certain exercises, jobs, and, of course, free time. Provided you show up to where your objective is, you should be fine. So from right now, we could just leave if we wanted to, but I want to stick around just to explain things. During every roll call, and there are two roll calls every day usually, at the very start and the very end of the day, they will announce the shakedown list. Billiard and Shannon. So the prisoners with those names, their cells will get tossed. Essentially, the guards will go in, inspect the lockers, and figure out what's going on there. Thank you for the follow, Monday T. Welcome to Synapse. We have some types of wanderers here, yourself included. Yeah, exactly. Escapist is a really fun game. I haven't spent too much time with it, but the little time that I have, it's really fun and interesting. I want to play this. <laughs> well, it's a good game to stream, to be honest. It's amusing. Oh, and apparently, I already got a sip. All sips done. Ooh, tape. I'm gonna take that. Okay, so how do I want to escape? Considering there's no one here currently, I think I'm gonna try to escape as a civilian. So that means I need to find... Well, currently I have the radio transceiver and the broom in my locker, because I spawned with them. Holy crap. Otherwise, third item I need to finish that off. Let's check the crafting menu. Tape! Actually, I have everything I need. Cool. That was really quick! Part of the escapists is crafting items. You need to be smart enough to do so, and in order to do that, we need to find books. If I remember correctly, books are in the south right. Consume water! I did! I did! I already did a sippy. I could have another sippy. Deliciously tasty and basic water. It's something. 
Get some intelligence up. What the heck? Oh wow! <laughs> I hear I hear the harmonica and pop completely caught me off guard. Yeah. <laughs> Poster check. Aye. Right. Sit up straight, me. Done. Let's see. Am I smart enough now? Yep, it's fifty, so we're good there. Fake audio equipment created. Let's see. For this specific escape, if I remember correctly, I need to find the civilian garb. I don't 100% remember where it is. If I remember correctly, it's like in one of the lockers on this floor. But in order to get over there, I believe I need a guard outfit. For that... Ah! Crud. Actually... Terrible idea. If I could find some bleach, then I could just dye my own clothing currently. Full off. Simple problem, simple solution. Alternatively, make some backup pliers just in case. Er, cutters, sorry. Blurred. Couple basic food items. Not too bad, not too bad. What else is here? The mop. Ooh, bleach. Perfect. And lunch shift. Better take care of that quick. How these blocks work are that you have approximately 30 minutes to get to the objective after the new block begins. After that point, if guards see you, then your heat will increase. That's a bad thing, because if it gets to be too high, guards will be like, yeah, kill you, kill this guy. Bad idea. Like, really bad idea. That'll do it for an initial. And while I'm at it... Let's do the reckless thing. Hey, guard! Kill me! Because <laughs> by doing that, I effectively get a new uh, prisoner's outfit. So that way, I could essentially get off scot-free with what I just did. <laughs> Otherwise, they would immediately notice within like the next block and go on high alert. Bad idea. Big new Trooper deck in Edipro. Oh, cool. If I may, what's Edipro again? I'm a little glitched. I mean, I like card and board games, but sometimes I don't know what game's what. Don't worry, guard, I'm going in here. At least gonna sit down for a little bit. Just to get my 10 gold. Ah, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. That makes a lot of sense. It did sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh type name. How's that deck working out, by the way? Okay. Ooh, cookie. That's gonna be useful. And if I remember correctly... The civilian outfit that we need is in a secure sector that's going to require a guard outfit. For that, we're going to need to get a jar of ink. That way, we can dye the medical clothes that we now have, thanks to the bleach. Maybe consider making some knuckle dusters. Good at link climbing. Okay, that's good. And it's exercise time. Should probably get to that. Escapists 2 has three approximate stats that you need to worry about. 
there's agility, there's strength, there's intellect. Strength is how much damage you deal when you decide to attack something, if you decide to attack something. Agility determines how quickly you move around, and I think it also determines a little bit how quickly you run out of stamina. And then there's intellect, which is crafting recipes. You at least need 70 intellect to craft everything that's in the game, period. And whenever you start a new match, you usually start at like 40 at all stats. By performing any, any one activity that raises a stat, or certain other activities too, you will consume stamina. This can go from 0 to 100, measured by the electricity mark here. Performing activities like showering, sleeping, eating, that type of stuff. And at that, also sitting. Will slowly restore your stamina and allow you to do more things. Ah, right. Gotta go looting again for ink. The sooner I get that ink, the better. No guards? Okay, there's one guard. Two guards. Guards do not like it when you go into cells. Well, other than your own. So I gotta pay close attention to that, just in case. Battery, wood, not great. It's dinner time. Ah, crap. Of course you saw me. Nah. At least show up to that, then go back to looting. Yep, there's a guard right there. Should be good now. Did I check all these? <sighs> that moment when you get really, really scatterbrained. Let me get that's just me and the norm. I'm a very skittish and scatterbrained person sometimes. A tin of paint. That's not really useful. That cell's being tossed like a salad, so maybe stay away from that. Ooh, lighter. Now if I could just... Actually, no, wait. I think I have some chocolate in my cell. There are a bunch of different recipes that you could craft. They vary usually depending on the map, but some of them are relatively fixed, and one of those... A cup of molten chocolate. When equipped, this thing will instantly knock out any single target that you decide to use it on. Very useful in a pinch if you ever decide to want to steal something from a guard, for example. There is no ink there. There is milk. So if I want to make a cake, maybe. Nothing there. Where the hell is the ink? It's like nowhere. Hello? Game, all I need is one little ink jar. You can't even supply me that? I don't feel like I'm asking for much. Finally. Plug those together, and voila, we have a guard outfit. Now to figure out where the civilian clothes are. I also gotta make sure not to change clothing in, spe in the inside of a prisoner or a guard, because they're gonna immediately see through that. Chances are the civilian garb may be up a floor. Around here, maybe. No, not there. Actually, it could be there for all I know. So let's 
take care of that quick. Wrong button. Maybe I shouldn't go looting in there, just in case. Crap. Find a secluded place to change. Because if I'm missing for too long, then... Someone's gonna get pissy, and that's not a good thing! Not showing up to objectives, attacking guards, that's, and generally being rowdy like those guys. Criminy! <laughs> what? Like, seriously, CPU, you, why did you think that was a good idea? The guard was right there! Clear line of sight. They're just gonna be like, hi, here, introduce a trudgeon to your face. Hope you like having a few less teeth. Well, again, with a few less teeth, you could sip fluids a little better, but I don't think that's something you, you should be proud of. That's a trowel. Suck, mace. Ah! Of course. The moment I decide to loot their cell, they're just like, Hi, get the f*** out. Thanks, game. Suck mace. So it's at least a noob weapon. In an emergency situation, it's at least something. I also don't need to pay attention to that, so... Yeah, maybe I should just sleep for right now. Show up to the roll call, sweep up to stairs, hopefully grab a civvy outfit, then get ready to leave. Bye. Hello, goodbye. Let's see, stairs that way. There are two civvies in there. If I could just get into that desk with that civvy noticing, I could probably steal it. Yeah, I don't think I'll have the time, because we're going to come up on breakfast soon. No, wait. Done. Change back to prisoner stuff. At least show up to breakfast. Then, hopefully around free time, I can sweep out. Actually, maybe if I'm quick enough, I can get the fake mic and leave. There it is. All right, let's see if this works. Cross fingers. Because I don't believe it's a time-sensitive action. 
just provide you everything you need, you can just waltz out. Yep, voila. How much footage do we need for any of that lot? They're hardly the most dynamic bunch. Good luck with the documentary, punks! And escaped. Uh, huh, that was a pretty good rating, actually. So, when you, when you finally escape, you are judged based on the things that you do, such as the amount of people you knock out, the amount of tiles you destroy, how much havoc you raise across the board, how much of a nice guy you are, what type of things you ate, and, of course, how quickly you escape. And yes, Daniel, and yes, Daniel, I got the idea from a couple other streamers, actually. Like, sometimes a person doesn't exactly have a means of directly supporting a streamer, so I figure one of the ways you could do so is just spend a bunch of Fracturia and have everyone suffer with an ad. It will be, it will likely be short, but even then, it's something to consider as a means of support if everyone else is okay with it. Of course, I have it as a higher amount of Fracturia, so be careful with that. <laughs> Tax the plebs. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But again, that one specifically will also require me to like go to designated safe space and do nothing for a while. So use at your own discretion. 